We got a package from Tom Ben. Tom Ben is one of my very favorite USA manufacturers of bags. Tom of Tom Ben is actually a guy and he's built a great team of people around. They take their production really seriously from the human level, like how they treat their employees, down to the materials that they're using and what, what's gonna last the longest, how they price their bags is all related to that, to being a sustainable company. So it's just one of those companies, one of those indie companies. They're big, but I, to me, they're an indie company, independent in the sense that their agreements are with their customers and their promises in my experience and in the experience of a lot of people you'll find online have been kept. Like they keep their promises. Thanks, Tom Ben. And they recently created a new bag. This is the Shadow Guide. It is a USA built top loader pack for those of you who appreciate simplicity, minimalism, but functionality along with comfort. Really interesting back panel. I'm gonna get into that. And the straps here are sensational. Tom Ben's edgeless straps are are sexual. Now this is built off their guide pack. Their guide pack is one of my old favorite bags made with excellent like materials. So the guide pack was originally designed so you could literally like you roll up your sleeping mat and clip it in right here on top of this, right? So as far as capacity goes, this actually is, this is quite capacitous, right? This is the 33 liter. They also have a 23 liter. So you can fill this thing up and then you know, have your yoga mat or whatever clipped over the top. And now you're like good to go. That's the original design for the guide pack. I think the use case for this is much more urban this bag particularly here. Though, what's awesome about it is it would perform really well out in the elements. Now, one of the things you might notice is this bottom is slanted, okay? It's a little higher at the front and it gets a little lower towards the back. Apparently, they designed a flat bottom version of this for that reason of like standing up or seeing what it was like and they noticed it immediately. When you put a bunch of stuff in there, it's just gonna flop out like that and the weight pulls you back. Right? That's the opposite of what you want to do for comfortable carry. Even though it means it's not gonna stand up. This is not a standing bag. This is a leaning bag. You lean it against something, right? You get to trust the lean on this thing. But the reason why they do that, comes from the original guide pack as well, is it pulls that weight closer to your body, which ends up being important when you're carrying lots of things. You've got this cool Tom Bin logo that is different than normal. It's all black on black. It's their design lab logo because this bag is sort of like a trial right now. This thing is an exploration and an experiment that they themselves have had really nice use of and they're like, well, let's bring it to the market and we'll do it under this new sort of design lab logo. Such a killer like beach bag, river bag, utility bag, right? When you just need a bag to do like all the things and you just want it hanging in the closet for when, when you need it, right? This thing does all of that stuff really well because there's no bullshit. Capacity on this bag is 33 liters. They also have a 23 liter, which is nice and a little, be a little bit tighter. 10 liters tighter, actually. 33 is probably where I'd go. I'd throw a camera cube in here. I'd throw a lunch box in here. I'd throw my sweater in here. And then on top of that, maybe I'd throw a book. There is nothing on the inside, but there are O hooks. Oh, 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 hook it up. Oh my, look at I can clip things to it. That's what they're for, clipping things. Here's like one of their little leashes. They have longer leashes. So our front loop is just a bucket. This whole piece of panel right here is just a bucket with five 25 denier two by two ballistic nylon. This bottom is a 1050 denier ballistic nylon, okay? This is the one that they've done a lot of testing on to see uh, what performs better? Leather, 1680D, for weight, for resistance to dirt, for s lasting years and years, with uh, some, some padding that gives it a little bit of a foot down there. But where we really are getting the structure on this thing, there's this removable internal frame, which is a plastic sheet kind of thing that slides in and out of the bag with some work that also has an aluminum stay, which is bendable. They actually call this a skeleton panel. It's designed to save weight, but then also have some stability for the frame, right? It's a floppy bag. It's a soft goods product. There's something I really like about that personally. So the question of how rigid 
to make this. You know they tried a lot of different panels back here and landed on this one. I I'm, I just bet. But this air mesh panel, it's, I don't know, it almost feels like boat ropes. It almost feels like old boat ropes. There's something about it, I, I like this mesh. I don't know what it is. It's just a cover on the outside. And then the padding on the inside, which has all these panels that go go down to give you a little bit of airflow. Edgeless shoulder straps, which are to me, like I said, it's sex. This is just the most sensual strap I have ever, the, the squeeze on it, the smoothness of this material, this material that goes up against your skin on your neck. You can wear this thing shirtless. I, I do it all the time, man. Every once in a while when my wife and I are trying to spice things up, I'll just grab a Tom Bin bag. Strap it on, you know what I mean? Just head off into the distance. Now we've got three quick access pockets, right? The first one is the top, this main zipper back here. The second one is underneath that on the side. And the third one is the same thing on the other side. On both sides, see this gray? We've got a line down the middle and we've got zippers to a pocket that does not have any dimension built in. So this is where your little things go. This is perfect for your little dongle, your little like like small like corded headphones or AirPod. Nice little zip pulls that have light, a lot of good texture on them. Okay, so this top pocket, it's got a zipper that goes around the corners and down by maybe two or three inches. You do have visibility on this, so that's nice. You open it right up and you've got this massive lunch sack view. You can fit books in here. You can fit Bluetooth headphones in their cases in here, right? This is what I call a medium sized pocket. It is a pocket size that is surprisingly absent across wide ranges of bags. There's lots of little pockets. There's lots of big pockets, but this kind of medium sized pocket, I really dig. And it's right on the top of the bag because it's designed for you to have access to like what goes in here. So this is likely going to be used for more than one thing. It is big enough for you to throw some bars and your Bluetooth headphones and a map and your compass. To, like, you know, they're always talking about going out hiking and stuff like this, but maybe it's your battery for your phone and any of your electronic devices. It's your tech kit and your Bluetooth headphones, right? Like you can fit a tech kit and your Bluetooth headphones right in here. That's, that's how I carry. But I don't love how these zippers come around the corner. I like it because you do get that visibility. But I don't like it because it's just, I gotta, look, look at that, I gotta go up, adjust, up, adjust, over, right? It's not a big fluid, kinda is, but not quite, like the zip, you know what I mean? So it's just a long zip pull. So my medium pocket, I can get access to when the bag is closed. And both of these side pockets, from either side, I can get access to when the bag is closed. So here's a very utilitarian way to have not a lot of, not a lot of like zippers and pulls and tabs and all sorts of stuff, just all on this little beaver paddle top. I like that. Great work, Tom and co. And then finally, one more zipper here on this side. And this is what makes this, you know, suitable for modern life because uh, it's a laptop pocket. Now, how are we with protection off the bottom of the bag? I, not extremely good. So this is not the kind of thing that if you are crazy about protection on your laptop, you're, you're gonna, you're not, you may not feel as, as, as protected as you wanna be. I like that the padding is on the back plastic panel. The zipper's only on one side, not on the other. Separating your laptop from the, whatever's in the contents of the bag, that actually feels, it's not too big and bulky. It, you, if you have a sharp, jagged something jabbing into the front of your laptop, I don't think you're gonna feel uh, excited about that because it's not massively protective, but it's protective enough. It's exactly the kind of laptop compartment I like because you just slide shit in and out. There's no tabs, there's no clips, there's no Velcro straps, there's no anything. It's just in and out. I would throw my laptop in here and some of you are gonna hate this, but I would also throw my tablet in here. I just put them together. There's no separator for it. Again, very utilitarian as an ethos for the company Tom Bin in general, but for this bag. On the 33 liter, you can fit a 16 inch MacBook Pro in here, a little bit bigger even. On the 23 liter, you cannot comfortably fit a 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's really designed 
for 13 inches, you're gonna be able to get all 13 inches in there easily. Some 15 inch laptops do fit in the 23 liter though. All right, what's my take? How would I use this bag? I would absolutely put this bag, like use this bag as my like main family utility bag. Throw the water bottles inside, throw the snack bag inside, have a big, have like a packing cube full of snacks where we're just inside. Diaper bag, diaper kit inside, camera kit inside, right? That's what I would really use this for. For everyday use, urban stuff for me, I like a little bit more structure, a little bit more organization probably. Now, it hurts me to say that because this is really one of my favorite, like, I love this medium sized pocket with the two little guys underneath it. Two clips, strap and dangle, an awful lot of strap and dangle here, right? And then the rope thing, open that up and now I've got pretty decent visibility even to the bottom of the bag on this 33 liter. Love the materials, love the back panel, love the straps. It is like a, it is to me like I said it's like a PhD's thesis on modern classic soft goods design. Shout out to my patrons for supporting me. Thank you so much for putting breakfast and lunch on the table for my family. This is like an indie company, right? Well, we're, a lot of us digital creators are indie and we're all trying to find out ways to monetize this stuff so we don't have to just feed you ads, try to get you to buy shit that you don't need, right? We really want to be helpful and we really want to make good stuff and one of the best ways we found for that is to support us independently. So right now I'm doing that on Patreon. Thank you, patrons. You can find a link below to do that. And if you're just a casual YouTube visitor, thanks for watching. My whole thing here is I wanna find products that are worth it. I wanna live more minimally. I wanna live more matterfully, right? Things that matter for the tasks that matter, for the jobs that matter. This enables things in your life. What does it enable? Go to the park, ride your fucking bike, ride your motorcycle, right? Take the kids to the beach, go on a road trip, right? Go on a fucking hike, get out of there, right? It enables things, it's so good at that. You don't have to think about more bags. Just get the damn bag that you, like, that's gonna work for you, and then go do the things that that product enables you to do, right? Instead of just thinking, dreaming, pretending, trying to become something, right? Like, cause like I always say, be who you are. Everyone else is taken. Bye-bye y'all.